Number 51. What is the effect on the concentration of hydrofluoric acid, hydronium ion, and fluoride ion when the following are added to separate solutions of hydrofluoric acid? And then we have letter A. So in this case, we're going to add HCl to a reaction that's basically uh, dealing with hydrofluoric acid, right? Now, this is the acid base uh, chapter. So what we can do with acids is we can do two different types of um, balanced equations. Now, they didn't say that we're in water here in this equation, you know, in this, uh, this number right here. But, I mean, they did say solutions. Water is generally the um, universal solvent for acids and bases. So we can do hydrofluoric acid plus H2O. However, there is a trick with acids. We can't do this with bases. So what we can do with acids is we can just start with the acid. So in this case, we have HF. Hydrofluoric acid is HF. And all you do is you just break it apart. You can only do this with, a with acids, remember, not bases. So I'm just going to say that this dissociates into H plus and F minus. Now, in this case, let's just make this a little bit more specific. Since HF is a weak acid, just know that we do need to see those double arrows indicating that this will be in equilibrium and Le Chatelier's principle does exist. Meaning, you know, adding in and removing, uh, you know, different amounts of something if you have too much or too little. And that's what this question is all about. Okay. So we have HF, which comes to equilibrium between H plus and F minus. And if we just see that up top here, that's what they're asking for. What happens to the concentration of hydrofluoric acid? That's HF. Hydronium ion, which is H plus, And fluoride ion, which is F minus. Now, we're going to be adding HCl. Well, the first thing is, is that whatever you're adding, if you can dissociate it, go for it. HCl, remember, is a strong acid. One of the strongest in the world. It's on your six strong acid list. So we're going to break that down. HCl dissociates 100% into its two ions. If I split this down the middle, I get H plus and Cl minus. Now, generally, one of these ions would be the same in your balanced equation. And in this case, it's the H+. Plus. And it's a trickle-down effect. If you're adding HCl, which is what we're doing, we're increasing HCl, that means that we're going to increase the amount of H+. Plus, which means that coming over here, I increase the amount of H+. Plus. So I answered one of my answers. They wanted to know what happened to the concentration of hydronium ion, which is H+. That's going to increase. Now all we have to do is just figure out what happens to the concentration of hydrofluoric acid and the fluoride ion. This comes from what's going on with Le Chatelier's principle. Since we're adding something, we're increasing the amount, we have way too much. You're always going to shift to the opposite side. So since this is the products, the shift is going to be towards the reactants. And whichever way that you're shifting, that's what you increase. So this would be increasing because you're going that way, you're producing more. And from where you came from, you're going to drop. So HF would increase and the F minus would decrease. You need to decrease this to get more HF. And that's it. This is the answer for the first one. So those are all your effects on those concentrations. Hang tight because letter B is coming up. All right. So if you guys are on the playlist, just chill for a little bit and I will be doing letter B with you in a little bit. Um, I hope you're having a great day and let's keep working hard. Okay. Bye-bye.